Today's modern automobiles have tighter emission controls and fuel economy standards than ever before. For vehicles that have one, a mass airflow sensor is probably one of the most important sensors as far as maintaining good fuel economy and, and good emissions. Um, the computer will add the proper amount of fuel based on the amount of air coming in. So it's important that this sensor works correctly. In determining if you have a bad one, there's a lot of different ways that they can go bad, but um, one of the things that we'll look for when the engine is running is if, if you tap on it, and if the engine seems to stumble or anything like that, um, that would definitely be a sign of a bad mass airflow sensor. The next thing that we can do is if the engine's running very poorly and we suspect that the mass airflow sensor is the reason, simply unplug the mass airflow sensor, the computer will detect the error and go into a backup mode of operation. If the vehicle runs better when you do this, chances are the mass, mass airflow sensor is bad. Other than that, we're left to tests having to use either uh, the engine scanner to get information from the computer itself or a multimeter or uh, oscilloscope in order to check the output of the mass airflow sensor itself. Uh, a typical test is to hook into the appropriate as the output and what we'll do is we'll monitor the voltage as we range the engine speed. So I'll actually start the vehicle and uh, we'll do that. Now that the engine is running, we have a voltage reading coming from the mass airflow sensor that's proportional to the amount of air flowing through the sensor, and that should increase as we increase engine speed by opening the throttle. If it does not, increase its output proportion into the opening of the throttle, then the sensor is bad.